Yeah. We're going to be live any second, people. All right. Are we going live soon? We're going to go live soon. Okay, quiet. Quiet, quiet. Shh, 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 shh. Who are you shushing? The, the bear. Oh, okay. He's talking so much today. Oh, I don't know what okay. his deal is. All, All right. right. Here we are live from Houston, Texas. Ginger Snap Wednesday with the co-producer... Sammy! Oh, Sammy, you look good with those glasses tonight, buddy. You are really one cool dude. He's just too cool for school, isn't he? He is. All right. Hey, Ginger, are you out there? I'm out there. And not only that, but I, I don't have glasses on anymore tonight. Woohoo! Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> I am actually going to try painting something without sunglasses. What a thought. <laughs> Even though we have the bright lights, I think we're doing okay. I want to just welcome everybody to our Wednesday show. You know, when we first started these ginger snaps, we were just little doing little things. But, you know, after a while, the little things just kept evolving this into was longer things. This supposed to stage. be a 15 to 20 minute little I know. And so, it, and, and here's the deal. You know, the thing is that then it got longer and longer and longer. And then finally I said, oh, you know, what the heck. Let's just explain something. So on the ginger snaps, maybe, um, maybe this is stuff you know. Here's what we're going to do. It's something you know. But what we want to do is show it to you in a different way. All right, Ooh, you already know okay. how to do it. We're going to show it to you in a different way. A lot of different ways to paint things, a lot of different styles to paint things. As many ways to paint things as there are kind of you, you, languages. And remember, painting is a language. Art's a language. And uh, pre impressionism is, is a way to paint things. Uh, photorealism is a way to paint things. And this is sort of, um, I, I would guess this is sort of romantic uh, impressionism, maybe yeah, a little bit. I'll more, go with that. More, more romantic impressionism. And eventually this is sort of this is an original painting I created from a photo I'll show you how I did it and it, it just I just felt like painting that because it's really hot in Houston I'm so sorry for those of you who are caught in the snow because if you can see if John if you want to show them what we're going to be painting let me do that uh, you know what what we're going to be painting tonight is this um, this little snow scene and it's called uh, what what did we call this was a you know oh wait a minute wait a minute He'll come riding to riding the current. Riding the current because we have these birds back here, these hawks that are riding up the current. You know, usually over a cliff, there's these, the sky's a little darker and it gets a little lighter as we go down here. I got, I got, it's already being interrupted. What's happened? Our feet went out for a second. Was it back? It is now. Okay. I don't get it. We don't know. It's just a mystery. It's a mystery. All right, so All here's right. the deal. In case you guys are with me and you lose our feed, what you've got to do, all right, because this is not this beyond our control, is you go to our homepage on Ginger Cook uh, Live on YouTube, and you'll, we will start up again, and you will see the live show, and just click on again. You know, last night it happened. We lost about the, half the audience. Just said, oh, I don't know how to find us again. That's how you find us, okay? So before we get too much further, I want to introduce John Little. You already met Sammy, who's... Uh, you know, was on, you know, with, you know, handling our on the air uh, button. And John Little is our executive producer. He runs all four cameras. What does executive producer mean? I don't know, John, but it's a good title, isn't it? Really, it? it sounds impressive. It well, sounds I'm the executive, and Sammy's the other co-executive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What does that get us? Well, really, what, what that gives you is that you're in charge of all the technical equipment. Oh. You're the one that's kind of zooming in and zooming out, and I'm, I'm the c c creative talent, and you're... The, and you're the mechanical aspect of there the production. You, I'm the man behind the curtain. Yeah, that's it. You're the man behind the curtain. There you go. That's so what I that's what John, John also is the other half of our, our website, Ginger Cook Live. And oh my gosh, do I have some great news. No, for it's our exciting members. news. Exciting. Better than exciting. I want to thank Wendy Goodchild because she and John have been consulting a little bit. Uh, she's one of our members and also has become a really good friend. And what's happened is one of the things that we wanted so much for you, when you have over 300 lessons on your website that are like what we do on gingercooklive.gallery, and you decide you want a Van Gogh. I mean, look, nobody's got a website like this. Nobody's even broached the technology that we have, and we've come even further We've got a search engine that we found from Google. Well, Wendy found it. Thank yeah. you, Wendy. And, um, and what it does is you can go into our search engines. The first button is you pull down the library tab. And what you'll see is that it says new. It says new okay? And when you search on that, if you type in something like Van Gogh or trees or rocks, every mm -hmm. video that has any of that in there will show up on a long list, which is really cool. Now, 
in order for us to get that, we had to put up with a few ads, like the first four or five things are. Right, it's a Google sponsored thing. It's a Go thing. Google sponsored thing, and they're not charging us for it, so we got a few ads. So, but we figured that the search is like this, it's so fast that we, we, we just think it's well worth it. And, and we want to thank Wendy one more time. Thank she Wendy. Found walks it. on water. She walks on water and she found it. John implemented, stayed up till four in the morning last night getting that to work for you guys. So this is what we do for our members all the time. And now we're going to go ahead and start on this picture. But I wanted to just mention that. And incidentally, if you're new to Ginger Cook Live um, on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to me, I would say hit the subscribe button now. We do some great live shows. The other day. Sometime impromptu. The sometimes the impromptu. Sometimes impromptu. At the drop of a hat, the other day we, we invited you to be a fly on the wall in my studio. I'm going to hold this up like this. And I ended up painting this painting. And you just saw how I designed it from a photo and how it, what I came to it. And I didn't answer any questions. It was just, it was like you were sitting in really a fly in the wall of the studio. John was on the phone talking tech with Wendy. Everybody wants to know, who was he talking to? He was talking <laughs> to Wendy. They were figuring out how to do the search engine. And I was painting. And so... Uh, we'll do these again, but you won't get, we never know. Those are impromptu as opposed to the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday live classes we do. So what was so cool about this was that if you want to find out when we're going to be doing these live uh, impromptu things, there's a little bell underneath your subscribe button on the deal, and you have to hit that bell, and then you'll be reminded. So uh, that being said, let's get down to our painting. Um, we're, I, this was a 6 by 8 but I thought it would be really charming, a little bit larger. So we're doing 8 by 10. And the first thing we're going to do is um, take a little sandpaper and sand the canvas. Already this, done, boss. It's already done. Well, all right, this is how you would do it, all right? John's done it, but this is how you do it. Because people don't know, right? And why do you do that? Because if you're, the canvases, most of our canvases now that we're buying, they come in plastic. And you have to take the plastic off. And then you have no idea. Some of them are so rough. And, and it, another coat of gesso won't do a diddly squat for that, OK? What you've, got, what you've got to do is you've got to lightly sand it, okay? It, they already come with gesso, okay? This is the back side of canvas, like here. See there? Canvas is nothing more the than canvas. cotton duck, which is like they make sailcloth out of. And, and it, it, depending on how, much, how, how thick the gauge is of the fabric and how tight the weave has a lot to do with how smooth or rough something is, all right? And, the, and, you know, and also this, this stuff's... You know, it's made, it's put on with a roller or, you know, some probably just sprayed on or something. In any event, your canvas already comes with gesso. All right, so you don't have to run out and buy gesso. No. You just need to, little sandpaper, a buck, go find some. All right, now, that being said, we're going we're gonna to do an underpainting of, um, of gray. We're going to make a gray. I and to make one. that, we're going to, here's the colors. We've got titanium white, zinc white. And zinc white is your transparent white. If you have, if you have um, mixing white, which is part zinc, part titanium, that's fine too. Uh, Zosnine purple, cad red medium, ultramarine blue, southern ocean blue, which is by Matisse. If you don't have that, you can use thalo blue and a tiny bit of thalo green and come up with a little white and come up with that color. Uh, burnt umber and burnt sienna. Those are our colors. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to start with some white. Notice I always do a log of white and start with some white and add some phthalo, um, uh, uh, southern ocean blue, a little bit of ultramarine blue, like that. Then I, you know, get these two like that and scrape and squish like that. You see, I'm sort of scraping and squishing. That's pretty, pretty tropical, almost like an ocean, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so a little bit more of that, okay? And then tiny bit of cad red medium, very little. Now, the cad red, what the cad red medium does is gray the color. Now, you want just about 1 or 2 percent. You don't want a lot of that. You'll have a hot mess on your hands if you use too much. But this is how you gray the color. Now, once you've decided you like the shade, and remember, acrylics dry darker, so I'm pretty, pretty close. I could add a little more blue, maybe even a touch of burnt umber. Burnt umber has a little red in it, and that will also gray the blue. Okay? So that's pretty good. There you go, with that little bit of burnt umber. There's our dark gray. Let's take a little more ultramarine blue and a little bit more burnt umber here like that. And let's make this slightly darker up here. We're going to take some of this and make a little pile that's slightly darker, tiny bit of the Southern Ocean Blue in that. There we go. So there's a little pile that's slightly darker than this. All right. All right. So we're good. Now, uh, let's see. I'll just take that 
palette knife and stick it over here. We're going to take a large brush like this. This is a number 12 ruby satin silver. And because we're using a um, 8 by 10 canvas. And basically uh, what I would tell you is we're going to do something like this. We're going to come down about, um, I don't know, about four or five fingers like this. I'm just going to kind of do a little line across there like that. Just not very much. I just want to see where I'm going to be. So I'm going to start up here like this. Now I'm going to just slightly mist my canvas um, with a light mist. Not too much, you guys. I just, okay, it's light mist. And maybe miss that one shot on the paint. You want not a Windex bottle, all right? Now we're going to come here like that, and this will help that spread pretty nicely, okay? We're not using, of, not using any blending medium, okay? A couple of questions about the colors. Sure. Um, one question is, what can you do for a Van Dyke brown to be close to burnt umber? Um, blue? Van Dyke brown, I, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with that color. So if you want a dark brown, um, that's that book that people should get. Um, th there's a book you can buy. And it will just, uh, John's got a copy of it, and I, I have it under, if you go to my Pinterest page on Bookshoot, it's a handbook on, on the different paints, so it'll tell you what's in Van Dyke Brown or what's in Burnt Umber, and, and, and you know, um, maybe you can even check it out of the library, but I think it's one of those things that are nice to have, and you want that. Okay, so now I'm going get, to get down into the lighter color. Any way to make the uh, Southern Ocean Blue? Yeah, a Southern Ocean Blue can be mixed with... Um, Thalo blue and thalo green, a little white. That's you could right. also just use a little bit of, of, of thalo blue if you just didn't want to fool around with it. Okay, so see how, see how we've got this pretty blue-gray. Now, as we come down further, um, we're just going to come back in here. I had it a little bit lighter there. I'm just going all the way across like this, and then I'll dry it. All right, and see how I'm painting it. This is your sort of your underpainting. It's not sort of. This is what it is, okay? This is your underpainting, and this is our first layer of paint. And this is how we make this kind of, it's a really pretty blue, isn't it? It's kind of the, you know, John, John's kind of the color of your eyes, isn't it? Because yours are a little lighter, huh? A little blue-gray? Yeah. Yeah, he says, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, a minor green. My eyes are green. But um, anyway, that's a, anyway, so, so it's a pretty color. This would be a good eye color, wouldn't it? Yes. You were looking about that. Good eye color. Um, Speaking of that, do I have I that over here? It. Do I have that over here? The minute I look for something, the first thing out of your mouth is, I didn't take it. It's this the safest like, thing to say. This sounds like a guilty person to me. I mean, deniability before, <laughs> the, before one has been accused. Like, What are you looking for? Uh, I was looking for those two books. Uh, those two books? <laughs> Of course, those two books. I know. The one on, um, on eye color, on how to mix eye color. I have not seen that one in a while. All right. Oh, I've got this great book. You can buy it on Amazon, too. And I'll, um, it's also on my Pinterest board under, you know, art materials, books you should, you know, good to have. And, and this one, um, it gives you all the color recipes for eye colors. It's just really cool. I mean, because, you, you know, people always say, I wish you'd put the colors out that you're going to use. We have the same colors over and over again. Maybe we might throw in a Southern Ocean Blue or a Cad Yellow Light, but these are the same colors all the time. No I don't surprises. get too tricky. No. We don't get too tricky with you. You can mix just about anything. We never do green. So basically, um, when you read a book like that, you're going, oh, well, I don't own that color, but that's interesting. You could make this. So I, I don't know. It, it, there's a lot of different, look, as many different ways to make colors as there are recipes in a cookbook. Whoa, that's like heavy. That, that's heavy. Now, I can pretty much match any color with these colors, but there's not the, it's not the only way. You know, some people, you know, use black and yellow and make this sort of... Um, it's a greenish. Kind of an army green color, you know. I mean, I know how to make that without that, but that's one way to make it, okay? So you, you could have yellow oxide. Um, I'm going to dry this. And well, well, let me ask you this question before you do sure. that. Sure. Speaking of drying, my acrylic dries so quickly, what can I use to make more time for blending colors? Uh, use more paint. That would be the first thing. You're not using enough paint. Uh, if you, you know, and, and you want, you know, like for instance, see in the, see how we've uh, thinned this out. See that. So what's happened is that that's that. If that's left that thin, if you don't mound it back up, it'll dry out. It'll dry out. The thinner the paint is left flat like that, right? It'll dry out, and you'll have to mix more. 
But um, the other thing you can do is, do you see how I have this folded paper towel right here? I do. You can fold this several times and lay it around the outside of your palette and have it very damp. And instead of putting your colors right on the palette, you put it on this wet paper, and that will keep your paint a lot dry, wetter. And now also they have something called Stay Wet Palettes you can buy. My problem with them is, is that the whole palette's got this sponge in it, and there's a special paper that goes over it, and everything's very thin then. It just thins out everything. I'm it's great for watercolor. That's what I use in watercolor, but I would not use that for acrylic. Well, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of artists like it, and it just, it, 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 I like the, the, the paper towel method yeah. because you, you can get your little blobs of paint. They can stay wetter, okay? And, then, and if you're living longer. in some place where it's like 120, like, I don't know, ba out back of Australia or something, <laughs> and, you know, it's really hot, and, it, you know, you can mist your paints. And also, I, I recommend Golden Opens for acrylic artists that, that because th that they're designed to stay, you know, wet a little longer. But mostly, it's used more paint. That's the answer. All right, so, John, I'm telling you what, uh, we've had some great uh, artwork come in this week. We try to show you a little bit uh, each time. Uh, that's come in. Just sometimes people are just sharing their artwork with us. Other times they're asking for help. Why I dry this? Why don't you show people what we got from Andrew? You got that off the top of your head? Uh, off the top of my head, right here. All on right, I'm going to turn this on. Right. I'm going to turn you off. There we go. I want to start off with one that somebody took our Raz show. That's our Reality Art Studio 101. And she painted that from that lesson, where we were giving no instructions. And who was that, you might ask? I have Gail. Gail did that. Very impressive. Um, she put it, she personalized it a little bit, gave it her own number. And scarf, added some more wood. That's very really great. Now, Andrew, we all know Andrew's style. Would you believe that this is an Andrews painting. Um, I gotta applaud that guy. He's come a long way. This is a 11 by 14, which is very small for him. He usually does big ones, but this is a fantastic job. Um, he's really, really getting the hang of it now. Oh, you and wait, wait! You can't be talking without me turning you back up there. Oh, sorry. Now you can talk. Oh, isn't that amazing? I love, I love this this artwork. I, I love the fact that we see what you're doing and what you're bringing stuff to us, and that's just great, Andrew. And I'm very proud of uh, the, the Miss Barrow too, with the, with the, you know, just you know, that wasn't a lesson. This this one right here was was not a lesson. Uh, this was just uh, this one right here was not a lesson. This was just me figuring out if I could even make this into a lesson. You're just watching me figure out how I paint it. She watched how I did it, and I like what she did. She put their house number on there, and I've got an idea for this. Shall I share it? No. No. No secret. Secret idea. I have an idea. Because we're going to make this into a lesson. We're going to make this into a lesson. I've got an idea for this. It's even going to make it more spectacular. Uh, than you this. Think this is good. If you think this, I've got I, this hit me at, at dinner tonight, so we'll see. But anyway, I have a great idea for that. All right, so here's our um, basically. Here we go. We've got our underpainting and it's dry, and uh, now we're going to just take some chalk here somewhere. Um, somewhere. Didn't I have some out here? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I did. I had it. Well, that. I, I remember it. It's coming back to me. I had it. Well, we used to use this. All right. Just don't like that stuff as much. All right. So here we go. So this is our picture, right? And what I want to do is I want to come up here about, um, about, um, it, I don't want half. This is, th this would be about half. So I'm going to come down. Oh, um, Let's come down about a finger's width below half, and I'm just going to come here like this and do this about two fingers up this way and make this little kind of hairpin turn here like that, okay? And then I'm going to come over here about three fingers and put a dot, come up here. I'm going to circle this in around. Now, this is, this is critical. This has got to be real small here. This curves around like, like that, all right? kind of a boomerang effect. That's our road. And then we've got, from the road up here, we've got this um, kind of cliff that's doing this. All right, like that. It's doing that. There's our cliff. And then back here, we've got 
this little village of houses that's back here. And then behind that, there's some hills that are coming back up here that we're barely going to see. All right? All right, so that's, um, that's what we've got so far. All right, now that's, uh, that's pretty simple, what we've, what we've drawn in here with the chalk. And chalk's nice because if you don't like something, let me just move this paint out of the way. If you don't like something, you just erase it. I like this, but I want you to see how easy it is to just smudge it out. All right, All right so that's, that's good to know, right? So we've got that, and now what we want to do is um, create our little village back here. And I'm going to use just a little uh, ruby satin silver angle brush like this. And what I want to do is I want to come, come here with some ultramarine blue and cad red medium, make sort of a dark brown color. Let me just move this back up here and uh, put our little, I like a little towel here to wipe my brush on. I've got one in my lap like this, all right? So here's cad red medium, little tiny bit of water on the brush. All right, and now that's a darker. So we want to come in here like this. Oh, a little bit darker, a little, little bit darker. All right, and I'm going to come in here like this, and I'm going to just make these little shoebox shapes, um, little rectangles, in other words, uh, just like this. I'm not doing anything too tricky. Almost if you imagine bricks or something, right? And let's take, we have a little dodging purple. Let's add a little purple to that for the front ones. Let's make those a little more purple. And we're just going to come across here like that. And um, keep these, the ones in back pretty small. All right, like that. So this is what we've got. All right, you're going, huh? Gee, gosh, don't have any idea what you're doing there. But that's what we're doing, okay? Now, if I'm doing that there, then I want to take a little bit of the zinc white with that same color and maybe a little Southern Ocean blue with that. There we go. Okay, and a little bit more zinc white. And I'm going to make this sort of darker hills back here like that. Just a little bit more ultramarine blue. There we go. I'm going to say here's some darker hills coming back here like this. Uh, and we're not really going to see these. We're just going to suggest that there's some hills here back behind these little houses. All right. So we're just going to put that there like that. Remember, the farther things, there's rules in painting, just like in spelling, you know, there's rules because the language, the farther things are away, the more out of focus they become and the grayer. All right. And I mean, that's true. If you've ever been driving in, on the highway, I used to be going places with Cinnamon's dad, and this was before GPS. And he'd say, he, he really had such great vision. And I've always had 20-20 vision. Mine was fine. But he'd go, What's, what does that sign say? And, man, we'd have this argument because I couldn't even see the sign <laughs> so far away and out of focus. But that's a good example. And when you next time you're driving in the car, look as far down you can on the road and notice how the colors are grayer. Notice that. Get that in, sort of in your mind, all right? Now, I'm going to just rinse that in my big water, wipe it off like that. And I'm going to come in here with a little bit of titanium white, okay? And um, I'm going to just come on here like this, and I'm going to just tap on. So I'm just going to sort of suggest some houses, roofs like this, it just kind of breaking up those um, little blocks of um, stuff. We're not getting too clever here. I guess you could, you know, put in a clock tower or something if you wanted to be crazy, but we're not. I'm not doing that, right? But we're just suggesting. There's another little painting we did that had a little village back like this. If you remember, and Wendy did that on a saw for her dad. It's the same idea. Same idea. All right, so we're saying there's the, um, um, th there's another little roof or something here. All right, something back here. And then if you want to be the last of the big spenders, do you did you ever use that expression, the last of the big spenders? Oh, yeah. Uh, you did that? Remember that, John? Yep. Uh, we, John and I spent half the day going, remember that? <laughs> this is, this how do you know when you get older? Because you spend more time talking about how you used to talk than how anybody talks now. I mean, isn't well, you that? you can't understand the kids nowadays. Well, I mean, we just sit there. Did your mother tell you that? Did your mother tell you that? We just we just go down memory lane every day. People would just think these guys must be a hundred. What is wrong with them? All right, but it's so funny that you know he was living in Ohio and I was living in the Midwest, and it's like our mothers just you know, sat. You were on the West. I'm Midwest. You're the West. Washington yeah, is west. That's right. We were on the west coast. I remember we that. Now it's coast. coming back to me. <laughs> and you know what we had in Washington State growing up? Was we had Washington State history. We had a whole semester of that in the ninth grade. 
They had no history. They could have covered it in an afternoon. It's the most boring class. Now, it wasn't like living in Texas with the Alamo or, you know, any of that stuff. I'm just putting in a few with some dark blue. I'm just suggesting a few trees like that break up these houses. All right, that. I didn't do it in the other one, but this is a little bigger, so I could, right, suggest that. Okay, so we did that, right? So we've got some sort of little town back there. We're not really talking about it um, at all. Now, what happens next? Well, this has to dry. So um, see, see our picture now. See, this is what we're going for now. Now we're going to change. We're going to get a little bluer with our sky, a little bit bluer with our sky now. And um, we have to dry this part first, okay? So hang in there with me while I put my brush in water, and I'm going to dry this. You got any more show and tell yeah, while I dry? Well, no. We, we, yes. Oh, we got to ask that question. That question, the big pertinent question. We want to know where you're from. And somebody just wrote back and said, hi, I'm from Norway. It was a new one. It wasn't, it, and, and of course we know Mona's from Sweden and we got some friends from Australia, but wh wh where are you from? Are you from, state, uh, you know, country, Kentucky, state, country? Something. Tell us where you're from. This is a big group. Let the group know where you hail from, you guys. Uh, where you hail from. Now there's an old saying. Yes. Memory Lane again. Hey, Memory where y'all hail from? Where y'all hail from? <laughs> just where are you? Just where are you all from? This reminds when, when my granddaughter, Honey, was, um, was about two and a half or three, she had somehow spent some time in a daycare and picked up a southern accent for an afternoon or two. <laughs> this was really funny because she doesn't talk like this, right? And she came home from her mother. I don't know what had happened, but she says, I have no more happy thoughts. <laughs> I may never have another happy thought again. I just think I'll go to my room and lie down because I have no happy thoughts. And her mother's going, what do you mean you have no happy thoughts? And she's going, no, I have no happy thoughts. And her mother says, well, you know, Santa Claus is coming soon. What about then? Well, if Santa Claus, and she's in this draw, if Santa Claus were to come by, I, I might have a little brief happy thought. But I just don't think I can think of any happy thoughts today. I love it. So listen, we're all going to think of happy thoughts. Where do you all hail from, right? None of that well, stuff. Well, you got to see them. They're all over the place. Okay, no, I'm wait, dying. You're not done yet. There's still more. There's more? What are we, what's more? You're going to do. I'm going to do. This one. Oh, yeah. All right. Robin so Coates. Robin Coates sent this in, and she said we could use her na full name as an example. Now, this was our. This is, wait, wait. Let's precursor this with, this is Ginger Coates. Th this is, uh, now, this was our <laughs> birthday gift. And, John, do you have a picture of my birthday gift? Because I gave it, I, I included that, and it was well. That. Let me just take a quick. I want you to see what the original lesson was, because this is a free lesson. The uh, that it's on our website, and incidentally, if you are a member of Vimeo, don't go to Vimeo to get it, because it's otherwise it'll be eleven ninety five. You've got to go to our website, find the actual painting, picture of the painting, and push on that, and then it says free button. Push that. It'll be free till the end of February. This, uh, as soon as John finds the picture, I got it. It's coming up. He's, it's coming up. He's, all right. I want you to see. This is the original lesson, the impressionistic lesson that I was teaching. All right. Let me just show you, show Let that. Me bring Where is it? it up. He's he's getting it. Three, two, one. Blast off. There's the original. All right. There's our original. You see, it's very impressionistic. Uh, very, very easy uh, going, and I think you've got that even a little brighter than it is. Not quite that bright in real life. Right. You've got that. You've got the color turned up way too I, high on that. Oh yeah. We okay. don't know. What what can but we say? Anyway. But anyway, that's the original lesson. If you go on the website, you'll see it. Do we have that picture hanging around here somewhere? The original yeah, picture. Yeah, it's in the hall. It's in the hall. You want to grab it, real quick? I'll yeah, show everybody. Yeah, I want. Yeah, let me, can I do that? Why don't you grab I it? Because I that. think this. You know, because I. And this is just. You know, I mean, I'd see this. I'd critique this right now. Right. Anyway. Well, it's great, except that, you know, it looks a little iridescent. When you found the picture? Can I use this one? Sure, use that one. That's fine. That's, that's the, the, now, get that off. Okay, so he, I want you to see the lesson, the actual lesson, and then you see Robbins. Now, this is this style of painting. Here's, here's, here it is. Here, and, and you're, he's going to sc scroll down for me, and I want you to see it's a little more <laughs> muted than you're seeing there, right? All right, let me just show you the actual lesson here. All right, see it? See how it's not quite so bright is what we got there. There's the actual lesson, all right? Now, when Robin did hers, she did it almost in a needle, ne uh, reminded me a little bit of needlepoint. So, all right, so show Robin's again. All right, so there's Robin's. And you see all the flowers are individual, you know, all like little dots in a row. So then show her what the personal uh, art coaching did, because actually it's very nice. She didn't do a lot of dark rocks. So what happened is her dark steps, the line on her dark steps, really shows up a lot because um, 
uh, she, to just to tone that down because she doesn't have any dark anywhere to balance it. Um, and then also, all the, and I told her to group more of the flowers, have some overlap, all right? So the front ones can be, you know, more detailed, and as they go back, they should be brighter. And let's see her final then, right? All right, so she's toned down. See, she's toned down the dark steps. She's, uh, she's uh, grouped the flowers more, all right? So and now just bounce between the two of them. And, and, and you can bounce back between the two, and they're both nice, but these are the subtle things, all right? Subtle things, and, um, and quite frankly, I might have taken, as a further step, I might have taken some of those yellow flowers and had a couple that were in detail, those front daffodils. I would have had a few in detail of that, instead of not all of them, just two or three, right? And, and then, so she put some pink flowers in the very front uh, of the rock. And then the other thing I might have done, and if Robin's watching, I'll tell you, the other thing I might have done then is just have a couple of those little pink ones be a bit brighter. But all in all, you know, that's the thing. The main thing was toning down those steps, that, that dark line, okay, like that. And, um, and, and very nice. And so that's, that's what we've got. And also, you know, I'm going to say one more thing. It's a way up in the clouds, right? What, what, you know, back in the, where the fence is, uh, it might be nice for a little mixing white and have a little few more clouds. All right? Now, if you go back to the original, go back down here to my, my, oh, to mine, okay? This is what personal art coaching gets you. Do you see how I have the, the sky a little grayer? And it's okay if she had it bluer, but a few more clouds give it a little atmospheric perspective. A few little bright things. So you've got some flowers that are in detail and some that are not. So anyway, good job, Robin. I, I like that. And, you know, you, you can send your painting back and forth to me as many times as you want. And, you know, when you do personal art coaching, what we call pack, and see how that works. All right, so I probably don't have to dry this now. I think this is just dry, John. I, I, that's, that was the whole point. Was that the point? Well, it worked. Okay. Now remember, you can join for just nine ninety five and get personal art coaching. Yeah, you can get uh, for you can take a, you can do a week for nine ninety five and and just pick one painting out and get personal art coaching with that. You can get some help with that. And if you're a monthly member, gosh, you know, if you're a senior, it's you know, it's like um, twenty two dollars a month. Or, you know, twenty one ninety five. I guess it's uh, yeah. it's a senior. And, There's you know, and that's you for the month, and you can send in as many stuff as you want, plus one original piece every month. And then we've got, um, for regular members under 60, it's still only um, $27 a month, which is, you think about, one art lesson for me, one private lesson is uh, Twilight Zone money. And, <laughs> you know, really, it was a lot of money for one personal private lesson. And even when I was doing my classes, we were at, uh, you know, $50 for a couple of hours, yeah. you know. So... I mean, that's, this is a really good deal. And there's over 300 lessons. So, all right, so we're back here. So now we're going to come back. I'm just going to use a brush now. And I've, got, I've, I've, I've dampened it out. Now I'm going to take a little white and ultramarine blue. And, um, all right, and a tiny bit of the Southern Ocean blue. Okay. I still want, I want a little bit more ultramarine blue. And I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt umber, a little more ultramarine blue. And I see how I'm mixing this. I want a little darker color. Tiny bit of the cad red medium to gray it. Get a little more ultramarine, a little more of the Southern Ocean Blue. You could be using Thalo. So there's my uh, kind of blue color here. And I'm just going to bring this over and see which one I got. That's, I think it needs a little tiny bit more cad red medium to gray it. Cad red medium is the best color because it's got yellow in it, right? And uh, it's red and yellow, so that's, uh, there you go. All right, that's pretty good. So what we're going to do is come up here like this. So it's slightly lighter than the sky I had, right? I'm going to come up here like this and just uh, paint over this. And if some of your darker skies shows through, that's the whole idea of an underpainting, so that when you do this, your canvas doesn't show through. There's an artist in Hawaii, and she paints everything red first and then paints. You know, but uh, you know, that's a look. You know, that's a thing. But you need an underpainting. And you want some, I like to keep the underpaintings in the tones that, that I'm going to do. Now, as I come down further, now I've just grabbed some, um, uh, some zinc white. My brush is still dirty, okay, so I've got some zinc white, and I'm going to start using just the side of my brush, bring that up into the clouds a little bit. This is almost like a little fog bank here, like that, just a little zinc white, and coming up here like this, and then kind of using the side of the brush here, and then just kind of softening it up into the wet, darker blue up here, okay? Now, wipe the brush off, zinc white, Wipe it off on the rag. Now come over here like this, and um, now we're going to take these back mountains, and we're going to we're going to push them way in the back. This is called atmospheric, atmospheric perspective, and we're going to do the same thing 
Um, gosh, we should have dried that, maybe. Hang on a second. I've got to dry that a little bit, John. Just give me a second. This even just, All right, I'm just this, this, down. this we have to dry right here. Right. Okay. Go, go. It'll just be a moment. I don't have anything to show you right now. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I do. Let me take a, a second. For those of you speaking of iPad issues, on our website, if you use the, if you use the gallery listing, you need to hold your finger down until it comes up with that menu that's how you can get to a lesson otherwise if you just tap it it's just going to pop up the little image but hold just hold just put your finger on the on the image and hold it until that pops up and then you can go ahead and tell it to open it or open it in a new tab oh i love the tech stuff put turn me up did you turn me up yes i turned to you <laughs> thank you i mean he turns me down for the dryer so i don't know if he's put the sound but i love john in the tech john spends late into the wee hours of the night coming up with better ways to make our website and to make these videos for, for us and to fix the camera angles and all that stuff all right so here's a little bit of that we've dried that now we're just going to come down with a little bit of the zinc white and um, very gently kind of um, put our little town in the background we're just going to kind of hide it See there, it's there, but it's not. It's behind this veil of white like that. See, so we're suggesting a town. And let's come up here a little bit more with the clouds kind of above this. Remember, acrylics dry darker, so and kind of everything sort of disappears. So I'm kind of going up here with a little layer of the cl clouds a little bit up here, a little bit above this. There we go. Make the sky a little more interesting. And it's all out of focus. It's just all out, sort of, think of mist. Oh, you think gave of me water a heart mist. attack. You said it's all out of focus. I thought the camera went out of focus again. So, I'm no. over here chatting. I was saying it's all, it's all out of focus. I'm panicking. <sighs> don't panic. Just don't panic. You can't calm down. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> really? That made you panic? Oh, well, yeah. I look all up right. like panic. I go, no, nothing's out of focus. All right. So now you see, we, we put all that. Now, now there's the background. See? Hmm? Yes. Are we good? Right? That's this. I love that. All right? That's good. Right? It looks and very wintry. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, you know, I lived in Aspen for years. When Cinnamon was born, she was born in Aspen. She was the only kid uh, at the hospital that day that was born at that day. And I remember um, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of the zinc white and come back and kind of lighten up a couple of the roofs back here a little bit, just in a couple places, just to put, you know, there we go, just on the house. There we go. Just couple of those like that just kind of put the houses back all right so now I'm going to oh yeah so we were living in Aspen and um, we used to live at 800 East Hyman Street the Chatelet condominiums and how do we remember this I don't and know why do we remember this I don't know there were seven units and um, there were seven units and we were uh, we had there were three in the front and uh, th 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 our our um, patio you could sit on the front kind of the get out the step and go out the front door and then you could kind of put your elbow on the fence and kind of look out and see people walking by and I do have I mean I'm telling you what I know I just had my eyes set but back when I was like in 23 or something you know when I was you know really young I had really good eyesight but I don't know what it is about sometimes you know you um, I remember people would walk by because I mean this was almost downtown so people would walk by we're putting a little burnt umber here, just letting you guys see what we're doing here with a little burnt umber now. And and, and I remember um, there was this guy that would walk by, and I'd always wave and say hi and stuff. And then I remember Cinnamon's dad says, who's that? And I says, well, that's so-and-so. He says, no, it isn't. And I says, it's not? Snow. Well, who is it? I said, I don't know. Who are you waving to? I said, I have no idea. So then I felt real bad, but I quit waving. I'm sure that man w just wondered what he'd done because after that, I don't well, I know him. I can't wave. You know, <laughs> it's just so dumb. You know, anyway, that was the, um, it was just the height of, um, it was sort of fun. Cinnamon and I would walk down. She was little, and we'd walk down to the cookie store, uh, you know, downtown. Every day we'd walk downtown and get our groceries, and then they'd deliver them. Isn't that just something? They'd deliver the groceries. Um, or you could call up too, but we'd get the walk, and it would be um, there was always snow on the ground in the winter. They always kept the um, the snow uh, plowed in a certain way. I'm just going to come in here in the middle like this and do something like this. It's going to end about uh, four fingers over here, 
Kind of keep this curve of this sort of where the, where the snow's kind of not melted completely. Okay. So you see, we're just putting in a little bit of these little bit of these brown bits. And what happens is, if you, it's hard to paint snow if you've never seen it. But <laughs> half the uh, we've seen it, yeah. But a lot of people haven't. And this is a rough thing to paint because you really don't know. It's tough. But in any event, what happens is is that the ground often is the you know snow starts to melt in places the ground shows through and that's what we're that's what we're indicating here and take a little bit of purple in there too do a few little dark bits and then even up in here we'll take a little bit of burnt sienna so I'll put a little on my brush wipe it off here like that so I don't have too much and I'm just going to come up here on the top of that and indicate that um, there might be some burnt, burnt sienna bits or with some rocks or something showing through here's our cliff and then we've got right along here on the side of the road, we're going to have something right about like this. Okay? So you can kind of see where we're going with this. All right. So anyway, those were, um, those were fun times. We lived there for a long time. And I'm trying to think what some of the fun things that, you know, we, we, we did. Well, um, we were in a, her, Cinnamon's dad uh, uh, liked motorcycles. That's how we met, and he liked motorcycles. And so we um, had a group of, in the, in the summertime, we'd take our, our trail 90s, we had trail 90s, and we'd go off into the woods and, and way up into the mountains on the bikes, and we'd camp overnight. And uh, this was before Cinnamon actually was born when we did all this camping, because uh, we were married like five years before she, she showed up. But um, uh, We'd go, we'd just go in the most amazing places, and it was just really fun. I, I don't know if you could even do it now. All right, so now I've got to come along here with some white, and I'm going to say that this is our white snow part here. And anyway, we'd go way up the ski hill. We'd follow up the ski hills, and we'd find these old mining trails. And uh, I think her dad, who's like good 10 years older than I am, still rides motorcycles. Can you believe it? Still, still rides them. And, but we, uh, we had these Honda Trail 90s. At first, well, we started off with bigger bikes, and we ended up those. And he'd carry a chainsaw on his. So we went someplace, and we had to cut a log out of the way that was blocking our trail. We'd find all these old mining trails. I'm just using a little white here over this, just to see, going back and forth. i take a little white and a little bit of this lighter color, this thalo, oh, Southern Ocean blue, and a little white, and a little bit of the ultramarine blue. Make, uh, snow is never just completely white, a tiny bit of brown in there. So we're just making some of these gray, kind of gray-blue colors. And um, let's get a little bit more ultramarine blue with that. So when you w find yourself testing a color and you don't like it, you know, change colors. You know, that's easy to do. And I'm just wiggling this brush back and forth in a zigzag pattern as I go. So anyway, we used to... Um, once a year, we did this great trek from Aspen to New Uray, Uray over the mountains, and it was all day to get there. And then we'd, um, we'd, we'd go past places like um, Lizard Lake and, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, wow, there were just the most, it was so beautiful and so gorgeous in the summertime there. I don't think it's probably, you, you just can't go, it's like, the, it's like anywhere else, you know, there were a lot of times where you could just go places, and now I don't think that, you know, the, the roads are that accessible, and, you know, people now, won't, there's things, stuff is private property, you just can't go tootling around just anywhere you please. All right, so we've got a little bit of blue here, but we get a lot of snow in the winter, and I actually spent some time painting snow. Um, I don't think I have the red onion painting anymore. I wonder what I did with that. I had a neat painting from the Red Onion, which is their famous restaurant. And uh, all in snow. I've got some stuff maybe I could show you from when I was in my 20s that I painted. But, um, you know, at that age, you know, I was still trying, you know, selling artwork and I was trying to sell it to the tourists. You know, of course, they wanted to buy all this snow stuff, which was cool. We would see what we're going here now. See, just starting to, this is zinc white now. Um, and it allows, because it's transparent, it's allowing some of the blue color to show through. And it's sort of streaking. See how I'm allowing stuff to be a little streaky? I'll take a little bit of ultramarine blue and make this a little bit darker in the corner. Here, now this is where you'd mist your paint when you start. 
I've got some really hot lights shining down on this. So I'm a little bit like the people who are living in Australia at 110 at this point. So I'm going to just take this corner and darken it up just a little bit. A little more blue. And um, maybe add a little bit more blue here. I think I want a little more of the turquoise. Okay. Somebody asked me the other day, you know, we use in the States, we're using um, acrylics. We're using, if you're using a professional acrylic, we're using probably use the, either using Liquitex uh, heavy body or golden or Matisse, which is imported from Australia. But some of our, our friends in, in Europe and stuff, they don't have access to those brands. And, you know, really all you want is the red that costs more than the white. Okay? That's usually a sign of a good, of, of, a, of a professional acrylic. Like, for instance, um, uh, there's, a, there's an oil painting company called Old Holland. And for a while, Jerry's was importing some of their acrylics. And their acrylics perfectly matched all their oil paints. Because you know what a lot of oil painting artists do, maybe you may not know this, right, is um, what they do is they, um, they'll paint the half, you know, they'll paint like 80% or 75% of the painting with acrylics and then just do the top layer with oils. You're going, oh, that's interesting. You know, and um, so Old Holland, you know, their stuff, was, was, which was a very pricey. Now, it may not be expensive in Europe, but it was very pricey, pricey for us at Jerry's. I mean, it was a nice paint, too. I mean, I couldn't, couldn't fault it. All right, a little bit of titanium. We're going to come around here on the other side of this um, uh, little bit of brown streak right here. Wipe off most of it. And then you see how I'm just sort of melting this in following around like that. Remember, the road gets narrower as so it goes back. This gets very narrow. All right, comes back here very narrow. And I've allowed all this to dry. Hey, how many, where do we got people living, John? You got? I oh, have a list available. What do you got? Oh, we I'm excited. We have Washington. We have Patriots Land, which is Boston. Ooh. We have Quebec, Montreal, Ooh. New York, Wisconsin, New York, Tennessee, New Jersey. Uh, Judy is visiting from Mars. Mars? Well, that's Judy. Arkansas, Michigan, Massachusetts, somebody from Houston, Texas, oh, somebody hi. from Russia. Welcome, Russia. Wow. Alabama, Southeast Florida, Southeast Florida. Got it. Okay. Ontario, Canada, Arizona, Illinois, Wichita Falls, Iowa. Washington, Minnesota, that would be from Sioux, yeah. Alabama, Australia, Indiana, Panama City, that's in Florida, Norway, and we know who's from Norway, New York, Mexico, Pensacola again, Wow. Quebec, Maryland, we got them all over. I'm telling you, this is a global audience. Get to know these fun people that are online with you. I'm telling you what. I mean, back when John and New I New Zealand. We have a New Zealand. Oh, Welcome that's cool. Welcome New Zealand. Yeah, my friend, uh, one of my students is going to New Zealand uh, for um, her holiday. She leaves uh, tomorrow. South America. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, we knew South America. New yeah. Brunswick, Canada. Okay, a little bit lighter up here. See, we're making a little bit more white back here. See that? What I'm doing here, New Brunswick, Canada. I have been to... Um, Three people Montreal. from Alabama. We must have the whole state of Alabama. We have all three of them. We have all three, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Do you see how we're starting to layer in the paint? Do you guys oh, see that? England. You see how we're layering? I'm using a little mixing white. I'm going to break up this, um, this cliff here using just these angle brushes are terrific. This is a one half inch angle brush. And they're so great because you can use them on the, as, a, as a knife blade and then you get you know, a very sharp edge, a little point here if you need to, some delicate work. And then you can use them as a flat brush. They are absolutely great. And I want to say again that if you're uh, getting, we've given you, um, uh, well, the brush guys have given all of us a deal. If you buy, a, the, you're, you go to the brush guys, they have, I, I found him the best prices on brushes, any kind of brushes on the internet and that's because all they sell is brushes so they've really discounted them and if you type in the word ginger cook all one word um, you get five percent off and they ship to Europe which is really cool and I've got to say whoever made invented the ruby satin silver these are like the brush of, I mean they're just the they're best right so uh, all right so see the contrast here we're, we're going now we've got this and we want to break up our 
uh, snow a little bit. We're just doing a combination. And then like here on the cliff here, it might be down here. Let's see, a little bit another blue, a little bit more turquoisey with a little bit of ultramarine blue, sort of a combination here. We're going to say we've got um, not quite that color. I feel like the princess in the pea here with the colors. All right, so we got a little bit of this kind of shadow color blue coming down here next to this road, coming this way. There we go. All right, so you see how we've we, we've said there's a bank because we've curved our lines this way. All right, the direction of your brush says what something is. All right, so let's let's pull this out a little bit here. I want to straighten this out and uh, maybe come up a bit like that. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to have, I've got this, um, let me miss this. That nice group of people. And I'm telling you what, artists are, are I think, always kind, generous souls. You know, I mean, we, we generally, you know, we, when you paint something, one of the hardest things, let's talk about that for a minute. One of the hardest things sometimes is when you're new at something and you're showing somebody something, you know, you've got, you've poured your little heart out into the painting, which we all do, and then someone comes along and says something unkind, and it's just can be shattering. And sometimes, you know, and I know that some people, you know, they, they've joined our group, they're afraid for me that I'm going to say something unkind about their painting. I'm not. I'm going to help you make it better. I'm going to show you things that you could do, and maybe it's just perfect the way you did it. And sometimes you've done it better than me. That's okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. If I showed you how to do something and you surpassed what I did, let's just give you a round of applause. That's all right. Um, the teacher always tries to find her replacement. Yeah, I'm telling you what, it's um, it's it's a good thing. And uh, let's see, a little bit more, we'll just, just lighten this up here. Let's see. Could you the, pull over your original reference photo for a second? Sure. No, 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 not no, the photo. The photo, photo. Oh, photo, 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 yeah. That's where she's coming from. This is where we started with. Okay, and I, this this was this well this will not read well. This ugly <laughs> piece of brown here. Well, that, that okay. would be a skid mark. Yeah, well, Somebody you know, whatever stuck. it is, that doesn't <laughs> read well. And this big pile of whatever, you know, we had to fix that a little bit. You know, to, some things just don't Sometimes read well. Sometimes you have to improve upon nature. Well, it's just that you've got to understand, it's just like, um, I know a lot of artists before, you know, before the Internet and, and, and Pinterest were finding stuff <laughs> on, uh, you know, they go to National Geographic, buy old copies of that and paint out of that. The, they frown on that, you know. Um, but anyway, th th some things that make good photos, Sierra Club photos or something like that, the thing is that what something that makes a good photo, all right, does not necessarily make a good p painting because we believe the photos. But what you've got, what I'm going to just suggest to you guys is that, um, um, here, let me just get a little shadowy here, here, just right here on the side of the road here too. Let's just add a little shadow here like that and just put some over here like this. Now, we've got here, what we've got going here is we've got a bank coming down like this. Now, I'm just going to show you that. This is a little bit lighter. We've got a bank coming this way onto our road. Now I'm into my titanium again. And the brush strokes are going this way. I want you to see that. I'm kind of coming down in here. We're shortening the road a bit. All right, like that. Here's our bank. And this is what we're doing. And don't worry if, you know, whatever you did, sometimes, sometimes when you're painting a painting, you learn five, five different ways not to do something, and you still learn something. Maybe you just learn a bunch of ways not to do something, and that's okay, because the next time you do it, you'll paint it differently. And then sometimes there's just, because I'm telling you, this has nothing to do with talent. Everybody thinks it does, and it's just, it has to do with hand-eye coordination and skill. Um, Mozart was the talent, and everybody else that plays him is skilled, right? The guy that thought it up was the talent, you know, that was talented. But if someone else painted it, chances are, you know, there's a good chance that, you, you know, you, you could make a close proximity if you understood the paint order and how they did it. So the biggest thing is understanding what, to, you know, what to paint first, the paint order, so you're just not spinning your wheels. You see, we always paint the farthest thing away and come forward. If you didn't get to see our gingerisms the other day that... Um, oh, I have that available. You want to show them? This was so cute. One of our students did this, Christine. She'd just been kind of writing down little gems that she hears on our website. Uh, you know, not on our website, but on our, uh, you know, videos, different videos that she's watched, okay? And um, let's see. Are. All right, this Gingerisms is that... Gingerisms from Christine. Yeah, yeah and... 
you know what and again you'll see one of them is it's just you don't be married to the photo you know that's absolutely that th that's what you want to remember don't be married to the photo okay and that's really i can't stress that enough really important all right i'm going to come down here and trim off this um top of this um till right here like that there we go and uh, add a little bit more um burnt umber and just put in a little cliff back here like that. There we go. See? We're, we're getting there. Okay? Now, what I want to do here is put the post in. And please notice I can show you in the photograph. You see how this post is smaller than that one? Right? And you see this one down here is smaller? And um, that's just generally things get smaller and shorter as they go back. This post is smaller. Do you see it? The, this post is smaller than that one. When you're painting this, keep that in mind. If you need to chalk in your post, I've got this one kind of going this way. I'll just chalk it in. I've got one kind of going here. And then way down here, I've got a little short one. There we go. There's some posts. This is a bigger picture, so I might put one. Well, I don't want that one there. It's too close to this one. I'm going to just erase that. Brown doesn't erase as easily, just by the way. Just, just so you know, brown doesn't erase anywhere near as well as, say, white chalk. All right, this is why you want to dry it first, but all right. I'm going to say that I want this one right about here, kind of space that a little better. All right, so those are my fence posts. Now I'm going to take some burnt umber and just paint right over those like that. Use the pinch my brush, that's my little angle brush, like that. Pinch it out like that. There it is. And then I'm going to paint right over the chalk there. And um, let's take a little dozing purple and... That's a little bit damp there because where I cut the water. And then we're going to say, here's this shorter one, and then there's this little one here. See, it gets smaller. And then up here, I'm going to put one. And then a smaller one, a little bit shorter one. It's got to be shorter. Like that, see? So that, that gives the illusion of, of, of distance. All right? Now, if you get something too fat, you know how to erase, right? Rinse, wipe, swipe. Let's come up here like this and just peel that back a little bit. Rinse all the paint off your brush, pinch it, and then come up here like this and just skinny it up. Okay? So that's pretty good. Now I've got to dry those posts before I do anything else, okay? Uh, oh, that's too bad. Hold on a second. Do I have anything? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me just, uh, you know, one thing too is we've got to straighten no, out the lines on this. Um, on the dirt here. They're going up and we don't want that. We got to straighten them oh, out. They yeah, were going kind of up and that we don't want. We want a little ultramarine blue with that and oh, brown. No, do do that one? But there, let's um, let's put a little one? bit of blue. Nope. Okay. Like that. And then we're just, this is our dark um, little ruts in the road. And uh, these can going up the hill, but this one we want um, very thin. And we maybe have another one back here like that. All right, so we want to make sure we have that. Because then what I've got to do is take, while well, I'm waiting for this to dry, I've got to take some white paint and come in here like this and um, skinny this up too. It all can't be the same. All right, so I'll, dry, I'll just dry this real quick, all right? Real quick. Real quick. We're drying this real quick, you guys. How quick? Real right. quick. Real quick. Reality quick. Reality quick. <laughs> all right. right? Yeah, you're flipping on. I'm turning you off. All right, so uh, I don't have anything else to show you tonight right now, but let's talk for a moment. Remember, you can get a week's membership over and over again. We have several people that sign up for a week, you know, once a month, because that's when they can do it. And you get personal heart coaching on at least one of the lessons in there. And for nine ninety five to get Ginger's help, people, you're not going to find it any better. And no matter what level you're at, she will help you get better all the way up. And she done that was reality quick. That was quick, right? I mean, it doesn't take... Uh, look, if you're not drawing... I had a student um, uh, that would take lessons with me for years. And I went over to his house to do a private lesson one time. He gets the painting done. He was going to give us a Christmas gift. And uh, I said, where's your hair dryer? He says, oh, I don't know. It's around here somewhere. I said, that hair dryer needs to be right next to your easel. I mean, what are you... No wonder you're having trouble. You know, this was someone that really should have known. You know, really should have known. Sorry, gonna digress. All right, so this little um, 
zinc white now. I'm just coming over here like this and I'm going to just, because it's thin now, remember I can just go right over this uh, shadow in the road, right like this, and I'll still see it, but it'll just push it back a bit. See what happens? You'll still see it because the zinc white is transparent. You're still going to see it. There you go. Same thing here. Let's just push this back a bit. Take a little zinc white, push it back here a little bit, just right over that blue. And it just sort of fu fu fuzzes everything out. And the same thing back here. I want this pretty s small back here. With the, with the, I want to see the brown, but not that much. Does that make sense? We want to see a little bit of it, but not that much. I'm going to bring that out like this. And um, I want a little bit of white back in here. I'm going to just add a few little white highlights here behind this. Because I think when we erased it, we got a little carried away here, but that's all right. I never worry about acrylics because you can put everything back, all right? Everything goes back. Now, when you have an angle brush, what you can do is that we'll take a little bit of the um, mist and we'll just mist the, these two browns and take a little bit of the burnt sienna, right? Now I'm going to just come up here like this with some of this lighter brown way back here that might be showing through back on this rock face where it might sun might have been melting. And we'll add a little bit of the burnt sienna color in a couple of places of where we did some of this dark brown. And then I want to just take and just use my tip of the brush and just come up like this and do a few little grasses. All right. And I might even take some titanium white and just plop a little bit of white on the top of that fence. Maybe here, a little bit of white on the fence like that. Now let's take a little bit more. Now if this is too big, you can use a small brush like that. You can take a little tiny, or when you're getting back into this final detail, if you're doing a few little, few little grasses like this, growing up out of the, um, the, of the little weeds and stuff that are growing up out of your um, snow, some of your dark area, just a few, and you might want one that crosses in front of your fence post like that. Okay put a little blue shadow on the snow like that. Maybe there's a little shadow right here on that snow on the top of that little fence post. There you go, like that. All right, so there's that one. You want to zoom in on this, John? Uh -huh. That would be helpful. Tiger? All right. Yeah. All right, so that. here we're going to just, we're going to wet the brush. This is real important. Have some little thing here. You can wet your brush, roll it out. You want, this is your grasses that are coming up like this. And I think I have to take some dark brown and um, define these fence posts a little bit more. You can put a little ultramarine blue and burnt umber together. It will be a nice way to make brown color. It's really annoying, isn't it? Yeah. I'm take a little bit of that burnt sienna and put it on. Just I, I need this darker on the back side of this. I just don't get what's called in it. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to switch brushes. I actually think my angle brush will make a smaller mark than that tiny. Believe it or not, I can do smaller grass using my angle, like this. I can use I can do thinner grass. All right, and you want some coming across the road like that, because it's not just growing straight up. Uh, let me just show you my chalkboard. Here, this is important. Let's just take a minute and do a chalkboard example. I probably need to zoom back out now, right? Yeah, you can zoom back out. We're going to do a chalkboard example. I run into this all the time, so obviously it's something that we need to talk about. Hmm. Okay, so what have I got that's sort of light for chalk here? You got the other I one. I can use this one. All right, so you've got a fence post like this, right? So what you don't want is this. So you've got to fit now. Here's our fence post, right like that. So when you're talking about your grasses, you want some doing this kind of. You know, if you've ever done a weed eater, you know what happens to these grasses, right? So in other words, don't don't just do this. Because <laughs> I mean, I see this all the time, so I know that you're tempted to do it. But I know now I've explained it. Maybe you got one that's crossing over, right? And as it gets back, they'll be smaller, but you want them in different directions. And maybe the winds blow them. Maybe there's a couple little weeds. I mean, you can get a little creative if you want. But, but try not to do a picket fence, okay? Thank you. 
Hey, thank you for that commercial break. Yeah. Now well, back to your I mean, regularly scheduled program. Yeah, now we're going to regularly schedule. <laughs> well, you know what? The, the people do this. They do, they do that all the time, and it's, 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 it's not helpful. And um, I need a little bit of white here and blue here, right here where this is. Um, I need this fence post to find. So there you go. That little white chalk was smearing. Right now. Now, you see me pinch the brush, pinch come in here brush. like that, and this, these angle brushes are so f fantastic because you can do exactly this. You can get these little Look tiny... Look how fine that line is. I'm going to zoom in close on that one. Look how fine that line is. It's like a frog's hair. Yeah, you can really... You can get these tiny little bits of... You make sure that, that you have brush. You have paint just on the tip. That's probably the most versatile brush. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's really one of the good ones. And we're going to come back here like this. And the heart, you push and lift up. Push and lift up, and I'm going to take a little burnt sienna and do that too. And I'm going to put a little white with it, so you can kind of see it. A little tiny bit of burnt sienna and some white, kind of lighten up some of these grasses. Maybe I've got one that's going in front of the um, the, the fence, right? And you've got some coming this way, coming down. All right. And uh, let's see, what, what's this one doing here? Let's just do something with that. Let's, let's try for it. Let's go for darker here. Have some overlapping. They can cross over, all right? They absolutely can be crossing over. They give you the three-dimensional feel. Yeah, of the, of the weeds happening, right? And cross over. And then what we want here is some little bits of dark where the dirt's kind of... Um, kind of peeking through on the road here. Does that make sense? So we've got these little bit, that's too blue, I want some more brown. I've got these little bits of dark spots like that, where the right along here on, on the road, they get tinier as they go back, but there's a little bit of dark. So this, now what you do, even though I didn't make those that small, all right, see, I got them kind of big, don't worry about it. We'll come back with some white and fix it. So I'm going to put a little white on the top of this post. Same here, a little bit of white. And because I've been using mixing white everywhere, this white really sh sort of shows up. Maybe it's kind of dripping down there like that. Maybe I'll have some, um, uh, let's see, pinch the brush. In fact, I will rinse all the paint out of the brush and pinch it. If your brush is slightly damp, if your brush is slightly damp, then what happens is that when you do this, when you show something like that, look at how fine that those lines are, right? All right, so now we're going to say that there's some little stuff coming up here like this. Like, there you go. Some little weedy things, right? That have caught the snow. See that? Now we're going to take a little bit of the white and come over this way cross over some of those um, little dark spots we did. See? I mean, that's kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, how that works? Okay. And the same thing over here, too. You can, this would be a little bluer, but you can do the same thing here. There's our water, a little bit of white and blue. So this paint's kind of dried out, so I'll just get some more. And, you know, you can... Um, Come back with that. Just add a few little, you know, maybe some shadow areas. A little bit of shadow area right here, side of the road, like that. Maybe I've got a little bit of a shadow area right like this. Okay. And let's see, what else did I want to do? Here's our, our little, um, I think I want to bring this, this fence post up a little higher. All right, I'm going to just raise this fence post up, and I can do it. See, it doesn't matter what I just did before. I'm going to raise these two up a little bit higher. There we go. All right, now see how that changed the perspective, just making that taller? So that's taller. This one's got to be a little taller. Okay. There, see? Now, just that changed everything, didn't it? What colors were your shadows? 
uh, just uh, so there were some that were like a little bit of dark gray, the same thing that was in the sky. And then we've, you know, a little bit of dark gray right there. And then I'm going to take my burnt umber and I'm going to put some bob wire. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just use the, pinch the brush and just use the edge of it. Just a little bit of brown paint here. Just You don't do a full line. You do a broken line like that. You do a broken line. See? See the little bit of wire? Can you guys see it? A little tiny bit of wire. Very skinny. Dry this before you do. All right. Do it. So if you don't like it, you can wipe it off. Then I'll come here with white and pinch the white. And we're going to go right on top of that. Let me put my glasses on so I can see now. There we go. Right on top of the wire. The very top of it. We'll add a little tiny bit of white. See? You can see our little bob wire. And then if you want it, you can add the barbs if you want to be really crazy. You can add this like a little tiny, like a little mark like that, like a V. Add a few barbs. In this case, it almost looks like a dot because this is so small. You can add the barbs. And then on this one, I'm just going to say the wire kind of fell down. It kind of came off the, um, the snow and then it's just kind of fallen down here like this. We didn't say, we said that's what happened to that wire. All right. So, okay. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm looking at this going, so far I'm happy with this. I still, I'm liking the fact that we made this a little bit dark, taller. I'm going to darken this up a little bit, this post. Okay. There we go. You know, back when you were telling us how to make the Southern Ocean blue, if you don't have the phthalo green, can you do anything instead? Yeah, I would do a phthalo blue green shade and then a little bit of yellow and um, cad yellow medium and then a little bit of ultramarine blue and white and um, you know, really make close. that gray, right? Okay. I would I'd def definitely do that, right? And now I'm going to take a little bit of mixing white, okay? And I want to make sure that I've got, um, oh, I know, before I do that, I want to make this top of our cliff a little bit more dramatic here like this, come up like this like that with the top of our cliff here. And then I'm going to pinch the brush and use actual white paint like this and using the same narrow brush. There we go. I want this to be a little bit lighter up on top here on our cliff like that, like that. And then I'm going to take, pinch the brush again, the white paint, titanium. And I want this little bit right here, not the whole thing, but I want a little bit of lighter white right here on the background like that. So it's going to bring your eye back. Let's just Bring a little bit of white back here, titanium now, a little bit like that, okay? And That's then a little bit of white. titanium now. We're kind of come up here on the road. We did some mixing white before. And um, I'm going to bring some titanium up here like this. And as long as I'm doing that, I need to bring some in front of this um, post like that, like a weed or something, like that. There we go, like that, some little weeds. All right, so far so good, yeah? Now as I'm looking at that going, I'm looking at this, let me just straighten this out. Okay, so this feels to me like everything's tipped here. Does that mean, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how this feels tipped? It looks like a very, very deep ditch. So we gotta, we've, got to, uh, we've gotta take a little bit of mixing white and just keep going straight across like that. That wasn't mixing white, that was a titanium. This is why we mark the stuff on it. All right, let's try <laughs> this. That we want mixing white or zinc white, right? We want to take the zinc white and come across here like this. All right, and just sort of straighten out this road a bit so it doesn't feel too tippy. I don't want that at all. We're going to just push this way back right here, this dark shadow. We're just going to push that back like that. There you go. All right, that's good. All right, so that's that's working for me now. But you've got to look at this and say, how's, how's that? And then let's take a little bit more of this gray color that we made, which I have none left. So let's make it again. A little bit of phthalo blue, a little bit of 
or rather uh, ultra, um, Southern Ocean Blue, a little bit of Ultramarine Blue, a little bit of Cad Red Medium, a little bit of Titanium White. Let's just make this, um, this, this blue color, all right, which is sort of the ruts in the road, right? So now I'm going to come across here like that, sort of straighten this out. Again, there we go. Don't want anything too even. All right, like that. Sort of tone that down just a bit. All right, good. Make sure we've got some here. Maybe a little bit in here like that. See, so as long as we keep it going back and forth, we're in good shape. And then I'm looking at this going, could I, because I mean, here's our original picture, right? Which is so bleached out that you don't see anything. Does that make sense? So as artists, what happens is this photograph is almost overexposed. And this happens a lot to people. They'll look at a photograph and they, they like the idea of the photograph, but the photograph is slightly overexposed. So then we'll take a little bit of the um, mixing white or the zinc white, and I'm just going to come here like this, rinse my brush off, and I'm going to lighten up my bank a little bit on the left, just a little bit, because when you go over it with, with the zinc, you can lighten something without um, changing it too much. Does that make sense? It won't change it that much. You can have slightly lighter, and so you don't want to lose all your colors, but you can come in here like that and lighten it up. And I'll just do this like that, just bring this out like this. There we go. All right, so there's our, that's our road. And then you can see a little bit of brown here on the edge. I want to straighten this out just a little bit. Let's just get this a little level like that, a little bit right there. That's good. Um, what else can I do here? Oh yeah, let's bring, let's bring this color over here and skinny up some of the brown. In other words, you don't want an even brown uh, dirt line, okay? And you want it way small when it goes back, so we're pretty good there. And I think we're ready to put in our birds. Ooh, excitement. All right, so this is the deal. We gotta, we've got to back to the drawing board, all right? The 3D drawing board. Okay, so here's your cliff coming down like this. Here's your, here's your road coming around like this. All right, everybody's good here. And then you've got something back here, right? So we're saying that the birds, and then there's some mountains back in here that we barely see. So we're saying that the birds are catching an updraft. And so this is, we've got a bird that's sort of coming like this and like this, and then you put the wings down a little bit, and then you give it a little bit of a body like that. Um, well, let's try, let's, try a, let's try an actual edge to the chalk. All right, so then it's got a little bit of a, let's try again. All right, so like this, and like this, and a little bit of a body like that. Maybe probably by glasses. I keep missing completely, that's weird, with the chalk. All right, so there's my body, all right. Then I've got maybe one coming this way, all right, and I'm going to show a little bit of a body here like this. And then these over here are so tiny, like almost like little check marks, you barely see them. The farther things are away, the smaller they are. And we're doing these in brown, right? And um, this chalk doesn't work at all. It's not drawing right for me. I need my, maybe I can try this with a pencil because I'm not happy with these birds because I, all right, let me try it again. Here we, oh, better. All right, so there you go, you guys like that, see, bird. And then t t bank it this way. Did you ever play airplane when you were kids and you went rah, rah, right? I didn't you, make You don't noises. want any of the birds like this. They want, you want a bank, rah, rah. Didn't you play airplane when you were kids? Not that kind of noise. What kind of noise is that? Well, that sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> What kind of noise is that? <laughs> That's a dinosaur. Well, Did you play dinosaur? Uh, no, we played the airplane. <laughs> well, you needed to get into the mechanic and have him check your engine, lady. <laughs> check under the hood there. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, that's how we played it. I don't know. What did you play? Helicopter? What did you play? Airplane, but we flew. <laughs> oh, well. Two cycle engine, right? Not a yeah. four cycle. Uh, well, how was using a four cycle engine? You would use two cycle. Was it, is that with that? <laughs> 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 I don't but, think so. But and anyways, this was a bird. This is an airplane. 
you bank it, right? And your bird's got to bank, all right? That's that's the you point behind bank. all that. You got to bank the bird. Bank the bird. You can take that to the bank. You got to <laughs> bank the bird. Bank right? that bird. Bank the bird. So we're going to use a little tiny brush. Let's zoom in on this banking of the bird. And we're going to bank the bird. Now, do we have enough highlights in our sky? Is our did our sky get too? Did we lose some of the clouds back here? I think we did, didn't we? I'm thinking it darkened when it dried. It did. It darkened a little when it dried. So we're going to take a brush out here, and we know where the zinc white is, right? And I'm going to just take my here. I'm going to really wring out that brush because you don't want any water. You really, if you if it's damp, it's hardly damp, right? Now, zinc white back and forth like this. We're going to come up like this and create a, a little more interesting sky. See what we're doing here? A little bit of smoke. Think of smoke and um, like that. And it's kind of over these mountains here like that. Here's our sky. Oh, better. See? Yeah, the birds are going to like that a lot more. Well, they will, right? They're, they're going to like this more. And so here's our, we're going to come over this way. And uh, maybe we'll bring the fog bang down a little bit here like that over our town okay like this this is our it's all dried so you should be got remember um, zinc white and mixing white are translucent which is the whole trick behind this right so you want to indicate that there's some mountains back there but you don't really want to see them right so all right so we're just going to come up here like this push pretty hard and just bring this out to nothing all right like that there we go and i like that better so you just we just needed something a little bit more interesting than what we had before, but this is why we have acrylic, so you can do that. All right, so there you we go. You can totally change your mind. Yeah, you can change your mind. You can absolutely change your mind. And then, um, if you want to see that in action, go watch the Reality Art Studio 101. Oh, how many times did we change our mind <laughs> in that, right? So I'm gonna li I want a little bit of white here on the top of my fence here on this fence post, like that. And there we go. Remember, we, we raised those up so they've had a chance to dry now. So that looks a little better, doesn't it? Okay. Maybe the same thing up here, like that, a little bit of white maybe coming down. Maybe in a couple, you can always have a few little dabs of white. You know, that's the trick. You can always have a few little dabs of, um, oh, that's zinc. I want uh, titanium. You can always just come up with a few little dabs of white here and there, particularly up here on the top of our cliff here, right? So, because I'm kind of bringing, I'm leading our eye back here because what was the title of this picture again? I remember it was uh, cool. We had a cool picture, right? Riding the current. Riding the current, which is what birds do. So what you want to do after you've done the nifty clouds is you want to dry the clouds, all right? So if you don't like the birds, you can erase them, right? So remember, save as. That's what your dryer is, a save as, all right? So, so far we like this. Ooh, ooh, there oh, here she goes. Just turn around and just go for it. You know, that goes in our ears, you know. All of a sudden, you just turn it on. Let's hear from the executive producer on this one. Sammy, buddy, you got to do something about the star of the show. She's taking over. Okay, all right. So we dried that because remember, you want to be able to do this. So now we're going to wet the brush, little tiny brush. Remember, we talked about banking the birds. Here's a bird. I already thought this one out. So I've got this one kind of right in here like this. I'm going to just... Um, Pinch the brush into the dark brown. This is where your inks would be good. You know, your flow paints, um, dark brown and white are good ones to have for, and uh, because you often find yourself with branches and with, uh, you know, things either white or dark brown. You use a lot. So if you were going to get like a liquid flowy paint, I would get it in the dark brown. I, I'm not using that, but I'm just saying that wouldn't be a bad thing, right? So now I'm giving it a little bit of a wing, and then I'm just putting a little bit of a dark body underneath it. Can you see that? All right, so there it is. There's him. Then I'm going to bring this one over here like that. There we go. And then out like that. And there's the there's this bird. And we got a little bit of a jog on that. Oh, we lost something. So I got to erase that. All right, like that. I'm going to erase it. This is why I told you to dry it. Because if you get it too thick, you can dry it. And let's see, where's my eraser? Uh, I need a little angle brush to erase. Where's that one? Okay, so I'm just going to take this angle brush and erase. We have somebody from wing. Ireland today. Ireland! Oh, that's a cool thing. We like Ireland. Yeah, I like Ireland. We're going to get there someday. I've been, I've been, I got to go to Ireland one time, and I, 
But I loved it. It was just beautiful. Really nice. All right, so we've got that one, and then we're going to come over here, drop down, and do a little small one right here. And maybe up in the clouds. Probably have to take a little bit of water and roll your brush for each one. If they're not going to show up in the dark brown, so you probably you want to do about five. Okay, so you see how they're... Um, I think I'll take a little purple and make this one a little darker because otherwise you're not going to see them like that. There you go. There's this one. It's going to make these a little darker. Okay. Okay, there's this one. All right, so there. will take a little tiny bit of purple with the brown. So I want these to show up. All right, one, two, three, four. Probably five. Let's bank one this way. Put a little brown over it. Okay, so there, there's our birds, and then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of white. I have this on this one, and let me put my glasses on. This is where you really need your glasses to see this. A little tiny bit of titanium, and um, I'm looking to see what I did here. Okay. want those two to show up. Okay, so there we go. I'll put, put this out of the way now. All right, so there, there you've got it. Um, I like everything except this one where I smudged it, so I'm going to erase this one. You can totally obliviate them. We're going to just erase that one. That which bird is we just shot out of the air. Yeah, we just shot that one down, right? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> And um, let's, let's put a little bit of, and, and because I didn't get that dried perfectly, let's put a little mixing white back. Because I want a little mixing white down in here for the um, for this you know for for this bird to show up. There we go. Now okay, we're going to so use the dryer on that again, right? Um, I should. I should just just take a minute and dry that so that it's pretty smooth. All right. Are you good with that? Yes. I asked, so I turned you. I've already turned you down. You are turned down. Question: you always do. Do you always do an odd number of birds? No, oh, she can't hear me. She's ignoring me. Do you always do an odd number of birds? Yeah, five, three, seven. Am I turned up again? Yes. <laughs> um, five, three, seven, nine. Odd numbers. Odd, odd numbers nine. of flowers, bird, rocks. You can do two rocks, but basically it's odd numbers of things. That's Why the deal. Why is that, do you think? Um, that has something to do with the golden rule mean thing. Yep. It's a, it's a math words. thing. It's a, yep. mo mo it's a math thing, and you'll notice in nature that that's what's happening, too. Okay, so there's our little bird right there. Oh, he looks a lot better. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So don't panic if you don't like the first one. Just, um, just erase them. Just erase them. That's why you wanted to dry, see? So there he is. So they're both flying. That's what the drying and that's, is, and save as. That's the save as thing, and I, this one isn't showing up enough, so I'm going to go over that a little bit more. Let me make him slightly bigger than the other two. So he shows up. There, all right. So that one, those are showing up. So now, you know, now, now writing this current makes sense, doesn't it? And I'm just going to come back here with a couple places on our bob wire fence, where if I maybe have to, got some dark that's showing up in a couple places if it didn't show up, like that. There we go. And I'm, I'm thinking that this. See, I'm looking at this going, this little um, post needed to be slightly higher. So I'm going to make that bigger. See, those, kinds of, those are the kinds of things you do when you're all done with your picture. And I have to say that if you, you think about it, we, it. we start, start, it started with something like this, right? And I think, we've, I think we did really well. I think you've improved upon nature. And, and we've got sort of an interesting painting now. And then again, you can come back if you want to and add a few little more. Uh, certainly easier to come back and add a few little more little twiggy things if you wanted to, little, little, little twiggy things. But you don't have to. Sometimes you can just overdo it. There were so many twiggy things in that, there was just too many. Does that make sense? There was just too many twiggy things and too stuff in that other picture. Things. Yeah, that you I remember so, Twiggy. Do you remember Twiggy? Oh, I remember Twiggy. She was so skinny. Wasn't she? Remember? And she, yeah, I remember Twiggy. And then and min, and and um, and miniskirts. Ah, miniskirts. Miniskirts. And you know, um, I had some. 
I can imagine that. I had some mini skirts and very, very neat looking clothes. I'm telling you what, mini skirts and, and tall boots that went up to my knees, you know. Oh, heels boots are made of, for walking? Yeah, those kind of tall boots yeah. and, um, and mini skirts and um, that was fun. How we reminisce. Those were the days. <laughs> yeah, I remember all that stuff. I was fun, right? I'm sorry. That, that was sort of fun. I, I think this is sort of cool. Um, I think this is sort of an interesting thing to do. John had made an interesting suggestion, and I'm going to show you what you might do, oh, even though I, I did suggest. do it in the first one. I'm going to come up here into my, into my birds, right? And I'm going to come over here like this, and I'm going to just make a little bit of a circle here. Now watch what happens. All right, now I'm going to just now, I'm just going to erase it and suggest the that, sun or the moon is there. That just something's there, just sort of peeking through. You barely see it, right? But I'm just going to suggest that. There you go. Well, something like that, right? Kind of this foggy day. It's just, it's just, you don't know what time, you know, time of day it is. It's, it's, it could be really early morning. And um, uh, let's come back up here. We're just doing a few little tweaky things. Do we have any questions, John? As I'm just yakking our way here. Uh, kind of come I'm up here. Not. None. I think you guys are a silent group here. Oh, silent? No, far from silent. They're just not asking me anything, right? But they're all talk they're talking to somebody, right? They're talking among themselves, having a wonderful time. All right, so that's good. Well, this is, the, this, is the, this is what the live chats are about. I hope you guys are having a good time. This is what the live chats are about. Now, don't forget, any likes or comments you make to us here do not show up, right? Anywhere. They're Anywhere. Gone. So once, if you, done, once we gone. leave this up, you know, it, this is like there's no comments. And... Um, what will happen too is the other thing you got to remember is when we do these live shows, YouTube then has to process the video and it may be an hour before it's processed. So if you leave and come back, it may have disappeared. That's not our fault. <laughs> it will reappear. It will reappear, right? It will reappear. They seem and to absolutely, be a little quicker than an hour. but Yeah, and, and it could be up to an hour, right? And absolutely. So I'm just going to come across here like this. What do you think of, about putting a bit of light in one of the houses? Somebody asked that, you know, putting a bit of light in one of the houses. You, your center of interest is here. You start gobbling this up, and you're not going to like it. You know, look, it's gonna look, be, it's gonna pull you, you, you should pull your eye. Your yeah. eyes, in fact, it, in fact, we've got almost too much here. We almost need to just push some of these back here, too. It's almost too much here. You want to suggest some houses. You know, what's going to be your subject? The town because, that you're yeah, yeah, to? Yeah, you're suggesting a town back here, but you really don't want to talk about it. Does that make sense? <laughs> You're suggesting something back here with the clouds and stuff, and there's a smoke coming out this way. And the, the way back here, there's some people, but you don't want any lights, really, because that's just going to totally um, take, that'll take away from... Um, Ginger? Yes, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Would you do a rhododendron painting? A rhododendron? Yeah. Is that what you meant to say? Yeah. Rhododendron? Yeah. You're talking about, he's talking to me about airplane sounds, right? But we don't, hey, got, we don't got no rhododendrons <laughs> in Washington State. That's our state flower. We have you know them in that? Ohio. You got weeds in Ohio. What are you in talking Ohio. about? If you're from Ohio, you say Ohio. You say what? Ohio. Ohio. It's not Ohio. It's not three syllables. It's Ohio. It's Ohio. Everybody knows that, Ohio. right? <laughs> <laughs> You I don't know where you're from. You must be from the West Coast. We people in Washington State talk like the people on the six o'clock news, which is the correct way to speak. Oh, oh, I see. The six I mean, o'clock news people know how to yeah, speak. Yeah, that that is obviously because everybody that they hire talks like that. So if there was a better way to speak, they'd have those people, right? Well, anyways, can you do that flower? Can I do a rhododendron? A rhododendron. They're we'll very, have to look and see. Oh, I've got a book on Washington State flowers and stuff. I'd have to look. That's a very complicated flower. Because there's a lot of parts to it. It's kind of like a hydrangea. It can be very complicated. Um, but, you know, we appreciate the request. We appreciate the request. I hope this was fun, you guys. Oh, wait, paint wait. This. We have one more. Hey, one question. Is Ginger Cook's birthday gift still available? Yeah. Our birthday cake. Where is that? Yeah, this is the birthday <laughs> gift, you guys. Birthday cake. Where is it? We ate the cake. Sorry. Oh, but that the cake was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Was that you ever good? You guys should have been here for the cake. I'm telling you what, that was great. Here's our birthday <laughs> gift. I'm glad you weren't. Now, here's how you go. You go to our website, gingercooklive.gallery. This will be free. This whole video, you can download and own it. This or you can watch it live on the show. Or you the, can watch it live on the show on if you the, don't want the, to download it. You just want to watch website. it. You see, when you go to the front page of the website, and you will see a picture of this. Right and when you corner. click on the picture, then another window shows up, and then there will be a nice button that says, what does the button say? 
something wrong. Garden party instead of garden, garden party. Pathway. Says garden party. Well, down, we don't know why. Garden party. Party. And then doesn't it say push me or something. No, it doesn't say push me. Why would you say push me on a button? Push me. Oh, I'm gonna have to go put that on it now. <laughs> push me. Push. Woo woo! Flashing lights. Push me. Push me. <laughs> what are you thinking? We have people that know how to push a button. Yes, obviously, because we have people doing some very strange things, so it isn't clear. <laughs> well, we had 200 people figure it out, but there was those 10 or 20 that are going, I How don't do know what to do. do. <laughs> I I'm confused. I'm thinking, push me for free wouldn't be bad on the button. That's just me, right? That's you. <laughs> I, but you there's know, a green button that says download Garden Party. Wrong name, but that's the right thing. Oh, it says download Garden yeah, Party. it says download Garden Party. But what if I just wanted to watch it and I didn't want it's to download right there. it? It's already right there on that page you're on. So I'm there, and then what happens? You watch it. Okay. So you can either watch it or download it. All right. Now, what does that mean when you say download something? What that means is it goes on your computer and you own it like, you know, it's forever. Like, like forever. It's like going to the bookstore and getting a book. And after the end of this month, that, that video will be on sale for uh, 11 .95. So when you go to Vimeo, it's going to say 11 .95. But if you, and thanks to <laughs> Angela Rodas and said, uh, I'm going to just throw her under the bus here today. Angela Rodas and said, well, I thought you said this was free. And it is free because if you... You know, give us another inch on the on the on the window there on Vimeo, and then it says free. Yes, yeah, says eleven ninety five discount eleven ninety five. <laughs> and then it says zero, so you're not paying anything. So we just now want if you, you go to directly to Vimeo. You have to pay. use the coupon code, which I don't think is up there, but yeah, don't do it that way. Yeah, don't do it that. Don't go directly to Vimeo, even if you're a Vimeo member, because otherwise we had one lovely lady that ended up paying for it today. And, and we have no way it. to give you your money back when you do that, because that just that goes, goes into the Vimeo ma. <laughs> uh, I go, dumb, it's thank gone. you. Hey, what are we releasing this week? <gasps> what we're releasing? We forgot. We got so excited about our picture. Let me just put this back. All right, I like this. I think this came out fun. I hope you guys did, too. Um, th this is, um, what are we releasing? Yeah. Uh, what are we for, releasing? For every week, our members get, besides, besides getting yesterday, they got... Remember, if you didn't do the Mardi Gras Mass, this was what we did yesterday on YouTube, right? Yep. And this was the step-by-step. -step. That was yesterday's, okay, now which was two cool. Is on the website. And the traceable is on the website Again, for sorry, this. On the home page, scroll down, you'll see the, that picture, click on it, and you'll get the traceable. And you'll get the traceable. So you can trace this one on. Then we gave our members, this one's also on our home page. This is a strictly for our members. If you're a member, but remember, you can join for, you know, $10 for a week if you wanted to do this one and, and all the others too. As much, many, it's like a buffet, as much as you can eat in a week, as much as you can paint in a week, right? Um, uh, anyway, this is going to be the what makes this even more unusual is I show you how to grid this one and um, and how to tr draw it on freehand. Great instructions on painting this, blending, and so forth. And uh, again, I like I like both of these masks very much, and they come out. Um, let's just move this painting stuff out of the way here. This paint is a disaster waiting to happen. So look, <laughs> you've got both of these. Isn't that cool? These are make eight by tens. These make um, these make absolutely awesome. Um, of, of paintings, you know, and, and this is the 2016 collection. We did some last 2017. year. 17. Sorry. And we did some 2016 also, which are on our website. Now, this is our our horse. Uh, this is called Wildfire. And this particular video, step-by-step -step video on the horse, will be also available for our members. This is their weekly release. So some, some weeks we release something really simple like the apple. Sometimes it's more complicated like the horse because we have so many level of artists that are, pl are playing with us. And you know, you may not like everything we do, but um, every, every, every month there's going to be something, something you know, that you're going to like because every week you get a new thing. You, know, you can look at it and go, ooh, that's so cool. And also our wave and water people got this also. We wanted to just let you guys know that. So that's our release for tomorrow. Uh, for uh, Thursday? What, what, reality Art Studio 101, it was not a lesson. If you want to paint it, you have to go from what is there. There's no traceable. There's nothing on that. That was Ginger creating a painting. That's this one. I've just shot, uh, you know, and eventually that's going to be a lesson, but it isn't a yeah, lesson we've yet. Already, we've already changed it. Gonna modify we're we're, we're going to modify it. It'll be slightly different, too, when I've got, I've got a better idea for this. Uh, but this is, uh, this is, you got to, the neat thing about joining me in the studio, being a fly in the wall of the studio, is you just sort of get to see the creative process. One day, you may join me and I may do a painting and then um, you'll never see it again. Yeah, some, some we have painted that we have not even thought about yeah, redoing. Yeah, because they're just, you know, I can paint it, but I'm not, not sure how to explain, explain it so you can paint it. I really have to think about lessons that I can explain to somebody else. 
Because, you know, and honestly, uh, if you've been painting for as many years as I have, you guys kind of have figured that I can paint. What's the trick is, I can help you paint. That's, That's the, the trick. That is the real talent that I think that I've got, is that I can explain it well enough where you can, even though we're not in the same studio, we're not sitting next to each other, and I'm not looking over your shoulder going, do this, do this, do this. You can get that, and I think you get it. And, um, you know, if you ever have any questions, write me. All right, that's good. I think that's a wrap, John. What do you think? Any other questions before we say goodnight? Our um, fans have been going on here for, for a while here. What have we done here? Is that picture of uh, John and Ginger in the future? How sweet. The one John and there. Ginger in the future? What do you have up there now? Oh, this one? Yeah. Um, no, I don't think so. We, um, we're not planning so. on going where it's blizzardy, are we, John? Uh, my cruises don't go that way. Yeah, our cruises don't go that way. We're, sorry. Uh, sorry, we're just, um, uh, no, no, I don't think that's us, you know. <laughs> that no, ain't no, gonna that is, that, that's not us. So this is more us, you know, this is more us, the, um, the park bench. That's what we did Monday, if you guys didn't get a chance to do that one. Monday one, this fun one, impressionistic painting, which also goes with the birthday gift. See, see, see how this, these all go. Well, I've got a ton of these on the website where they all, all the stuff goes with the flower garden stuff. And for, for so, those of you who just love flowers and going, why are we painting snow? We just had to give, we just had to break it up a bit. Maybe next week we'll do an animal or something. So um, uh, we're going to say, um, we're going to say uh, good night to you guys, and I think this was fun. And really, we so pre appreciate you guys joining us. And thanks, everybody. And, and, and we're, a global, we're a global group of artists, and, and thanks for being part of our merry band of artists. This was fun. Merry what? Merry band of artists, John. Merry band of artists. That's what we are, merry band of artists. Well, Ginger, I'd like to say good night. Good night, John. Hey, good night, Sammy. Good night, Sammy. Oh my gosh, poor Sammy. He's he's conked we out. We have this, worn this that is, boy out. This has been too much for Sammy. He's just, he just over can't it, take right? It. I, I don't I don't get it. Executive. So that's what the executive producer gets to do. Later. Got it. <laughs> Later. Bye all. Bye.